Okay, so Dinwiddie and I had nowhere to dig. And I said, man, I was coming down the main road the other day, and I think right here by this tree is an old cellar hole. It doesn't make any sense. We drove by this like 300 times. And then there's just this little teeny hole right here. And Dinwiddie found some pottery and some glass. And look at this. Nice suspender. Triple. Look at that. It's a spot. What's your reaction, buddy? Can you believe it? I cannot believe how many times we've driven past this place and never found it. <laughs> so. Yeah, the road goes right in between. The road went, goes right through it. I don't think it used to, but it does now. Oh, man. All right, let's see if we can find something. <laughs> Extra heavy. I can't believe we're on one. It's yeah. crazy. We had no hope for today. <laughs> Uh, Back to another spot, and we just gave up on it because everything was too new. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is a. This had to have been such a small little cabin. It's crazy, but hey, there's a little suspender button. It's torched. Nothing really on there, but yeah, we got life. We got signs. <laughs> this has probably never been dug. Well, these guys definitely owned pants. Yeah. <laughs> They kept losing them. <laughs> <laughs> this spot is so unlikely. Pretty cool. It's not silver, but hey, it's a thimble, and I don't have a complete one yet. So that's nice, man. It's awesome. Does it have any littering or anything? I don't, I don't see anything yet. It does kind of look like a plain Jane, but yeah. it's not crushed. Yeah, it's not bad. Awesome. Sweet. On top, I think that's a corset strip. Yeah, I turned around to go get my detector and he found that right on top, <laughs> right next to where the thimble was. Cool. So I'm not far off of where Dinwiddie found the thimble and that corset. And this looks like some sort of super fancy hair thing. It's even got gems in it. Look how big this suspender buckle is. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a beaut. <sighs> I'm pretty sure that's a Shirley President. <laughs> Dang, I don't have that one yet. Oh, that was awesome. I told Denny, he said, uh-oh, kid's got a high tone. That's for an extra large man. Maybe the Bigfoot lived here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen a Shirley president that big? My goodness. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, we should just be live digging everything. There's almost nothing up here that's trash. Like, I've dug a couple bullets. I wish I could help you guys understand how unlikely this spot is. It's crazy. Well, I hope the wind isn't ruining this video. Dude. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't know what it was before I picked it up, but it's another one of those presidents. Look at Dinwiddie over there all disgusted. Look at that, I got a little clock winder. Man, I can't believe the relic's coming out of this place. This is amazing. I'm not sure what that is. I'm wondering if maybe it went to a little chest or something. Like that's the latch that kept it closed. Yeah, I think that's what that is. I think that's a little jewelry box latch. Very cool. Dang, I've been fighting tin cans. And it's like, oh, there's another one. Look at that. That's a beautiful escutcheon. Dang. Yeah. Have to make something out of that. That is a fancy 
little drawer pole looks like. Dang. I think we're gonna find something really amazing here if we keep at it. Good for the day. Wow. <laughs> looks like a snap. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've never seen one quite like that. Dang. There's a chromed out piece of one. That's a nice big one. What does this one say? Oh, that's an extra heavy. Awesome. So you got a Crown B&L brand button. Man, I got a big old D buckle here. It's even got writing on there. Oh. <laughs> the right to solid brass. Yeah, it's a nice one. Look at that. That was in the side of the hill. Well, Dinwiddie's not the only one that can find silverware. He's claiming he's got other stuff he didn't even show us. I ain't buying it. He brought that from home. Everybody knows that. Oh, <laughs> I'll show him. Look at that. There's another spoon. Come on out, baby. Yeah. Well, it's a spoon. We're eating beans tonight, baby. Fork you, Dinwiddie. Oh, mine's way prettier. Yeah, you can have the gross forks. Look at that thing. Dang. What's up? In fact, I'm going to say this might be sterling. For real. I might have a silver fork here, guys. If not, that's a heck of a plating job. A complete one. Here from yesterday, but <laughs> what the heck, dude? It's a little bent. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we found where they threw all the silverware. He's got a spoon over there. Yeah. And even got I'm not even done talking about my beautiful fork. <laughs> He's not happy unless he beats me. That's <laughs> true. That's true. All right, I think it's plated. Dang it. Still pretty, uh, dang. So Dinwiddie and I are back for day two. Yesterday we did above the road, and then now we're doing below the road. Here's my first dig. Look at that big old gear. Dinwiddie dug iron too on his first one. I think it's top of the lantern, or the lamp. Oh, that's neat. Let me get over there. Top was pretty, it's all broke, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so this is what originally got my attention was this little rock formation here, which has got to be a foundation of some kind. Here's probably my first really good thing. We got a little baby spoon, and I don't think I broke it, I think it was already busted. Wow, look how delicate that little thing is. That's some fancy stuff there. A little sugar spoon or something. Well, I'll tell you what. We ain't finding as much as we'd hoped in this bottom section, but there's a lamp part. Anyway, he's got like a horseshoe and a railroad spike. I don't know if he's got anything else good. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to just work this field. There's gonna be stuff. There's a suspender. So Dinwiddie found half a butter knife a minute ago. I got a whole one. There's a cool relic. I got me an old cup. Heck yeah. One time I found a cup in one of my episodes that somebody had shot through it. Hopefully they weren't drinking out of it when they shot. 
That's neat though. It's, a, it's got a mark on it. Nice. Another spoon? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this bottom side's been hunted out. Yeah. It's funny that they might have been, you know, a lot of us might have made the mistake to hunt down here and then never look up there. Yeah. Because that obviously was never hit up there. You, can, you can't even see it from here. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not as obvious as this one is, but... And even if they did hit down here, I think they hit over by the cellar hole, not over here. Steel on the back. Dang, look at that old freaking rust watch. Let's clean that up and get these guys a shot. Yeah. Get your brush up. Freaking watch mine. I keep forgetting to grab a new one. I might have a gold bezel, dude. Yeah. Yeah, so that's uh, that's real pretty. Of course, here comes the rain. Um, it's gold plated. It's still in great shape, though. That's crazy. I mean, that plating was so convincing there for a second. I can't believe it's still that shiny. Awesome, Dinwiddie. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're gonna call that a wrap. I mean, I might come back sometime with my big coil and work this field a little more, but signals are getting real scarce. We have really hammered this place in the last day and a half. So, hope you enjoyed it. A lot of cool stuff, man. See you on the next one.